We are leaving the bucolic waters of the basin in Costco Bay, headed ultimately for Annapolis where we'll have some boat work done to get Wanderlust ready for the Annapolis sailboat show. We plan to make a number of stops along the way because we're still waiting for our new autopilot ram, which we hope will be delivered to Newport, Rhode Island. We learned once again it never pays to be on any other schedule except for Mother Nature's as we sail upwind and against current. But then we're treated to a beautiful downwind sail to the Cape Cod Canal and we're greeted by some of the most stunning race boats as we pass through Narragansett Bay. I'm Kristen, this is Fabio, and this is our dog Yoda. We sold our home last year and moved aboard our Seawind 1600 Catamaran Wanderlust. Over the past year, we've sailed the waters of South Florida, the Keys, and the Bahamas, shaking down our new boat. We're now setting off on our journey to harbors unknown, exploring the world and connecting with people and places through the local cuisine. Subscribe now to join our voyage. We enjoyed an uneventful 30 nautical mile passage to Saco River and settled in for the night. We left Saco River this morning and we're headed to Gloucester, ultimately on our way back to Newport in hopes to pick up our new autopilot ram. We're still not sure if we're going to be able to get it. B&G says they should have them in their warehouse on September 10th. Today is the 8th, but they can't give us any more information other than that. They were supposed to originally receive them on the 27th, so we've really got our fingers crossed. And then once they receive it in their warehouse, they'll ship it to us overnight so we can have it um, for our, our trip to Annapolis. But conditions, of course, are tricky. And we have wind right on our nose. Uh, so we decided to head out a little bit so that we can sail. Uh, the winds are about 16 true about 20 apparent waves you know probably four foot there's hurricane larry that's out at sea so we're definitely seeing some of those effects but the waves the current and the wind <laughs> kind of all on our nose and so we're doing the best we can um you know steering manually and Pretty soon we'll just tack headed more towards Gloucester and see if we can continue to sail. If not, we will turn on the engine because it's about a 50 nautical mile trip in a straight line, but uh, heading out 
we're making it about 78 nautical miles. So at least we've got semi sunny skies. It's not too cold and I've got Yoda here. If you're enjoying this video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and be sure to subscribe to our channel. It's now nine hours into our journey from Saco River to Gloucester. We definitely didn't think it was gonna take this long, but we've had wind, waves, and current on our nose, and we actually just saw 31 knots of wind. We've got three reefs in the main, and we're trying to round the tip of Gloucester. Uh, we've got some pretty nasty waves coming right at us and of course we're dodging lobster pots at the same time we're hoping to make it to Gloucester before dark but I don't think that's gonna happen so at least we've been there once before so we're kind of familiar with the harbor we have the engine on because we need to have maximum control as we round this outcropping of land with the waves, wind, and current coming against us. This is what happens when you're on a schedule. Yeah. Don't do it. No schedule in sailing. No schedule in sailing. Don't do it. So, fingers crossed we can get in before it's fully dark. has decided that he's going to join us for the journey. Thank you. 
times I've stranded I cast away and I'm not sure Though a stranger in this mountain as the sun set, we passed the Thatcher Island Twin Lighthouses of the Cape Ann Light Station. The two identical towers were among the first built to mark a hazardous location rather than a harbor entrance and were the last lights built under British colonial rule. We did not make it to Gloucester before dark, so I stayed up front with a flashlight on lobster pot duty while Fabio carefully navigated us to our mooring in the harbor. Soon the wind shifted so we furled the screecher and Fabio worked to launch the spinnaker. Okay. <sighs> 
Vinegar never gets old. Well, it looks like we're gonna get wet. <laughs> we're almost at the entrance of the Cape Cod Canal, but we have a storm uh, churning up behind us. So we took down the sails, we've got everything kind of stowed and we're ready for the rain and whatever winds come our way. <laughs> yeah, and <laughs> And we're putting on our life jackets. <laughs> Luckily, the storm veered off away from us and we entered the Cape Cod Canal to continue our journey south. We just anchored in Red Brook Harbor, about five miles outside of the Cape Cod Canal. Um, it seems to be a pretty good anchorage. We're a little bit exposed to the wind right now and we've got about 16 knots of wind, but overall I think it'll be okay. We've got land basically on three sides of us, so we're just open to one side. Um, they say basically it's protected from all directions except for southwest, so I think we'll be good. There's a couple of marinas inside and moorings right behind us, so we feel pretty good about it.
We headed out as the sun rose for a 30 nautical mile trip to Newport, Rhode Island. It was so nice to see familiar grounds again. As we made our way through Narragansett Bay, we were greeted by an incredible number of beautiful sailboats racing in the 20th anniversary Sail for Pride Regatta in honor of 9-11. I was in awe. The event was founded 20 years ago in the weeks following the 9-11 terrorist attacks. Two decades later, the sailing community has gathered every year to race, except once when weather forced cancellation and to date has raised hundreds of thousands of dollars for over a dozen charities. This year's beneficiaries were the Tunnel to Towers Foundation, Warrior Sailing, and the Timothy J. Mills Financial Aid Fund at Sail Newport. We passed under the Newport Bridge to our mooring off of Connecticut Island with fingers crossed our autopilot would soon arrive. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.